That's the first snow I've seen, and I'm about 600 meters high. Glencoe is thawing. Glencoe today. This is Glencoe just behind me there. Um, you can see just uh, down this little path, that's Glencoe running up there. Um, I've been here early this morning, this was an early start. I uh, left the house at about half past five and drove up. The drive up was stunning, it was completely pitch black and you could just see these amazing mountains just appearing out of nowhere. Um, it was really quite stunning, really quite something. And now that the sun's starting to come up, the whole place is looking slightly less foreboding, which is a good thing. And I'm just hiking up this path. My plan is to try and get up to the top of this ridge and just uh, see the sunrise out over towards Glen Etiev. Uh, that's the plan anyway. Been walking for about 45 minutes and oh, it is stunning up here. Um, it almost looks like a painting or something. I don't know if you can see the hillside just behind me there, but uh, wow. I was thinking that uh, I was going to get to use my ice axe today, going to get to use my crampons today, but it's like 12 degrees out here. Don't know what's going on. This is like a summer's day in the Highlands. Come across some deer. I hope you can just see them there, the silhouette of them. I've got a few shots of the stag. They're just making their way up the mountain, but wow. Hopefully gonna get a really nice silhouette of that with a bit of a sunrise in the background and all. After my little experience with the deer there, I am now going to walk up this ridge here. Uh, this ridge just behind me. The plan is to try and get a nice picture down over this valley here uh, with the sunrise. Um, the next valley along is Glen Etiev. Don't know what this one's called. Um, I'm gonna be put it in the description of the video here now. Uh, but, oh, it's so peaceful up here today, fantastic. Okay, let's get going. seen some ptarmigan. I thought they were a rare bird but apparently not. Like every time I've been in the highlands I've seen some ptarmigan so yeah. All right I have made it to the top of this little bit and it's spectacular. Wow it's nine o'clock in the morning no one else about this place is mine. Um, got a few wee clouds coming in. Um, I was going to try and get the sunrise there just behind me but as you can see there's a few clouds coming up the valley so I don't know if I'm going to get anything there. I'm seeing things all the time that I want to stop and take pictures of. Um, and I think I'm going to take a picture. Something just out that way. First picture of the day is down. Um, it's got a little bit windier up around here. Uh, so on a tripod and I've got an exposure of about one and a third seconds. So I'm just waiting for the wind to die down to be able to take this picture. Um, a little hint that I found from a Thomas Heaton video. And um, we'll put his uh, channel in a link just up there. Um, yeah, a uh, little trick that I've figured out from him is if you zoom in with your camera right the way in, um, sorry, digitally on the back of the camera, then you can see whenever the camera settles, whenever everything's still, you can take that picture um, and everything should come out nice and sharp. Um, ISO 100 today, uh, as I said, a shutter speed of one and a third seconds and uh, f-stop of 11. So it should be nice and sharp. Everything in the frame should be pin sharp. Um, quite happy with this little picture here now. Um, hope you can see it there just in the background and we've got a river running up this glen I think this might be the hidden valley or maybe that's the next one along not entirely sure again I'll clarify that in the video but we've got these fantastic plumes water 
uh, just falling down the mountain. They're all full at the moment from the melting snow. Then we've got that gorge, that valley that just goes up that mountain. Uh, and then just a snow-capped peak with the cloud just covered. It's absolutely stunning up here. Oh, but it's starting to get a bit cold. I'm gonna get back to work. The further I walk along here, the more stunning it gets. I can see <clears throat> lochs and rivers up that way. We've got another big lock up that way. Sun's starting to rise here. Just walking along this ridge, it's just, oh, it's breathtaking. I can't wait to get to the top of this mountain just to see the view from the top. Um, unfortunately, there's a big band of cloud um, just over here, just sitting in front of the sun, which is kind of um, blocking any sunrise that I would have got, which is a little bit disappointing. How and ever, I still think we're gonna get some nice shots today. And even if I don't, I've explored this area. I know what it's like. Uh, and it's just been an absolutely stunning day out. So I will push on and speak to you in a bit. Just coming down here and you can see it's starting to foggy up and uh, there's been cloud about for the last 15 minutes or so uh, which is a bit disappointing i'm not really getting that many views from around here uh, there's mountains peeking out every so often but uh, nothing nothing permanent a little bit disappointed but i'm going to try and get down to the bottom here and then maybe have a bit of a hike up glen etiev never been there um, and I've heard good things. So, that's the plan. Just stopped and had some uh, chicken, which was phenomenal. You've got no idea how good chicken on a mountain tastes. It's like that whole thing where whenever you're outside, no matter what food it is, it tastes better. It was pretty good. That is me pretty much down, stub, dub, and I'm into the cloud. That might be the end of my day of photography. So what the plan is, I'm going to get down to the bottom here, have a bit of a look around. If the cloud clears, fantastic. Gonna take a walk up Glen Etiev. If not, maybe take a walk up the Glen just before. That's a little bit closer. It's gonna take me less time to get back to the car. Uh, all weather dependent. There's something about the cliff faces here at Glencoe that's pretty spooky. This behind me, look at that, it's so dark and grey and then you've got that kind of uh, brown just sitting on top. It's kind of like that throughout the whole mountain range I think. I don't know, there's just something about it that makes it look pretty spooky. Um, I haven't seen that before in any other mountain ranges further south and certainly the Mourne Mountains I haven't seen it. Uh, I don't know if it's a, a Glencoe thing or not or a this area thing but uh, it's really spectacular. I haven't really tried to photograph it yet. Uh, I'm not really sure how, how to fit it into a photograph, but it's something that I'd like to work with maybe someday. Okay, I think I might be getting one of the last pictures from this area of the day and the sun has come out. Oh, it's amazing. It's absolutely fantastic here. And I've got this, uh, this gorge again that I photographed from the top of the mountain. This is a different angle and I'm just trying to really photograph it um, and kind of get, get the eye to lead away off up into the top of the mountain there with a little bit of snow at the top. Um, I've kind of set the camera up and there's a little bit of sun hitting uh, just a few of the little hills just before the gorge, so looking forward to seeing what this is like in the camera. Oh, 
one last last image of the day, I think. I think we have a river, uh, quite fast running water, some light coming from the water, and then we're going to do the back one. Perfect. I set the camera up on the tripod. Put a wide angle lens on, and I've got the polarizing filter on. And I'm just going to snap away here. And I've come down to the river again for what I hope is going to be the last shot of the night. There's this really, really red brick. I don't know if you can see it through the video camera here, but uh, it's quite spectacular to see. Uh, that, we've got the running water over it, and then we've got a few mountains in the background. Oh, this looks like a good photo, and I'm looking forward to seeing this on the bigger screen. I've taken a few exposures, and we're gonna try and combine them so that I just get all the highlights, all the lowlights all together. I think that's me done for the day. Walking back to the car, my legs are feeling it. I've done a lot of walking about today, but it's been great. <laughs>